So, I get back to my house yesterday, and um, my roommate is sitting on the couch and says, Phil, you got a letter. I was like, oh, cool. I'm looking at all the envelopes on the table, and on our coffee table, and I'm looking around, and I'm looking around. I don't really say anything with my name, and she goes, guess which one's yours? So I start looking at the whole broad coffee table, you know, the whole thing, and I see this. <laughs> and my first thought is, thanks, Dad. So, I think I'm actually going to hang this up somewhere, because it's really cool. I watched last night's episode, and you know, I'm a little disappointed in myself, because I know how Muffet's two-parters work, and I went and I, I doubted him. I mean, I still don't think the two-parter was the best way to start the season, but he ended it brilliantly. I mean, personally, I feel like these episodes should have been the end of last season, because I feel like, oh, the silence is gone now, so that's that 16-episode ordeal done. Last week's episode, my friend Marissa pointed out to me uh, that it was kind of cheesy, and because, uh, like I said last week, it was her first episode, and I kind of ended up agreeing with her, but uh, after watching the second part, I remembered it's just classic Moffat. You know, that's how his two-parters work sometimes. Uh, for example, with Empty Child, uh, the Dr. Rose and Captain Jack are surrounded by gas mechs zombies at the end, and that's kind of cheesy and really typical of sci-fi and horror and stuff. But, you know, he does these I-totally-did-not-see-that-coming moments where, you know, the Doctor looks at all the gas mechs zombies and just says, go to your room, and they go away. Like, you just don't think of that. So it starts with the, oh, that's typical to the, what the hell? That was awesome. But uh, I feel like this episode was really, really well done. I mean, I really don't even know what to say about it. Uh, I didn't really understand why they were being chased at the beginning of the episode. Uh, they didn't explain why the Doctor and his companions were being hunted down. Um, I think it had something to do with the silence suggesting whatever. Um, also, uh, I, I feel like a lot of the relationships between the characters uh, uh, were made a lot stronger in this episode and, and definitely started to uh, evolve. Um, I love just about everything Rory did in this episode. I mean, even if he didn't play a gigantic role, uh, you know, he definitely moved the storyline a, uh, a lot, and he played a, a big emotional influence on the tone of the episode, had great little comedic moments, um, and Rory's just a great tin dog. Uh, the relationship between he, him and Amy... Uh, it just really seems to get stronger with every episode, and, you know, the same with the the Doctor and River. Um, I'm going to try not to give too much away, but, you know, that's kind of hard to do. Uh, but anyway, uh, ever since I watched the episode last night, I've been kind of re-watching the scene with Amy in the orphanage, with the strange lady with the, the makeup and stuff, talking about the, the little girl dreaming or whatever. Um, it, that was really strange. Uh, but you know that's kind of the beauty of Doctor Who, is that they put in those little kind of random bits that at some point will make sense. And, uh, so that was just really interesting and very bizarre. That was kind of just a really weird scene. And, um, I mean, that's something you could tell that wasn't done by the science, because that wasn't what they did. They erased your memory. They didn't make you hallucinate like that. Um, anyway, uh, it seems like they've created a really good story arc for the season that doesn't necessarily revolve around the silence anymore, so that's really exciting. Uh, and... To all the river haters out there, I have to say, after that scene near the end where she's like running around and shooting everything and being crazy and, and, and a lot of the banter between her and the doctor, she's pretty badass. You have to admit, she is kind of a badass. Even my uh, roommate, Kat, who hates, you know, River Song, um, she was like, yeah, she's a badass. Still hate her, but she's a badass. But um, anyway, uh, we now know the little girl is a Time Lord. Uh, she ended the episode with regenerating, uh, but who she is, specifically, is still a mystery. Um, you know, I'm gonna do a little speculating, uh, I'm looking at either the Rani or whoever that female Time Lord at, during the end of time was, the one who was telling Wilf, you know, oh, we'll have the doctor take arms and telling him to get his gun and stuff, so, uh, that, that's kind of, those are the two main things I'm looking at right now that, that I'm predicting. It's just kind of fun to speculate, no matter what my father says. Uh, I feel like Amy's connection to the little Time Lord girl is uh, not as simple as it being her kid. There's definitely a connection of some sorts, but I don't think it's as simple as Amy's the mother. Um, that just seems far too simplistic for Doctor Who. Um, if it was, I don't think the scanners would have gone all crazy like they did, you know, with the positive, negative, positive, negative. Um, and I'm really starting to think 
with that same idealism of of some of how Doctor Who tends to lead you towards one direction and and then go a complete different direction, like uh you know, M Night Shyamalan wishes he could do. Uh, he it, I really don't think that River kills the Doctor at this point. It just seems really too simple. They've been hinting at it for far too long for it to be true. Um, but yeah, so overall I thought it was a great episode. Uh, that's all I really have to say about Doctor Who today. I don't know if I'm just sleep deprived or it's just a rainy day, but I just really can't think of much more to say other than that. Um, I think for uh, the newcomers who stuck with this crazy two-parter, they ended up pleased and I know as a lifelong fan, I did. I'm um, looking forward to the pirate episode next week. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, kind of back to the banter and, 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 and craziness and, and whatnot of Doctor Who. Um, so, yeah, overall, I think it was a really good episode. Uh, I thought it was entertaining. I thought it was, it was very typical Who. And, uh, you know, back to the basics. Not so much, like, I, I really felt like last week's episode... It was so much of uh, Moffat doing a character study of Doctor Who. And it's like, Moffat, I don't want to watch a character study. I want to watch Doctor Who. Uh, the, the characters are already pretty deep as they are. They all, all are very three-dimensional. They don't... It's not just this person does this, um, this person does that. So, you know, uh, sorry about my voice being really raspy. I've been out and about and having a social life for a change. So anyway, um, like I said the other day, I'm going to be talking to Davey Rothbart from My Heart is an Idiot, and uh, I have a few co ideas that I want to throw at him uh, about his movie and, and ways to promote it and stuff, and uh, so be looking out for that, because that's going to be, I think it's going to be a pretty interesting little, little uh, project idea that I've come up with. Alright, I'll talk to you later.